You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt and I'm Keith and today we're doing something a little bit differently. Um, traditionally we've been doing uh, full full I guess podcast long recaps of Raw and Smackdown every week. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, have a couple of separate videos because I, I know that the lengths of some of our videos are a little intimidating. I guess would be a good. I want to sit here for an hour and listen to this crap. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, I guess, for the people who are a little less interested in what we have to say, a little more interested in what's going what happened. on. Yeah. What actually happened? Yep. Yep. We're gonna do um, a video for Raw, recapping exactly what happened, no nonsense about it, mm-hmm. and SmackDown. And then we're gonna be doing two longer videos, one of our thoughts and impressions on both Raw and SmackDown individually. Uh, afterwards so you both will be available on our youtube page yeah and uh so yeah uh Let's... we'll jump right into it yeah so this was the christmas edition of monday night raw mm-hmm. the first live one yes so open the show with john cena yeah comes out gives his shirt away as usual yes does his little thing talk about christmas and whatnot mm-hmm. kind of Usual John Cena stuff. Well, yeah, he was yeah. very he was very happy to uh, to be there. Yes. So then he's interrupted by Elias. Yeah, that was a little surprising. Yeah, um, he comes out and apparently WWE stands for Walk with Elias. Yes, I very like clever. It. I like very it. clever. Um, of course, they are in Chicago, so the CM Punk chants are very loud. Yeah. Um, so I think he starts talking and. Uh, he actually mentioned CM Punk, saying that I don't think CM Punk's going to come out here and interrupt me. Because yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that was his whole thing. He didn't. He wanted to go through a song without being interrupted, and yeah. that's why it came about. Um, so then John Cena kind of told him that he was the jerk and not the fans. So Elias restarts his song, and then he says, "What Chicago? What a no other or no better place to be on yeah. Christmas than yeah. Chicago." And then he tells John Cena to take it away. So John Cena starts to go with it, turns around, and then Elias lays him out. Yep. And then he challenges him to a match, yep. and that's how the show starts. Mm-hmm. Um, just a little side note, this uh, the first hour of Raw and SmackDown this week didn't have um, commercials. Yes. So there's a lot of waiting for referees coming down mm-hmm. to the ring. Just just uh, putting it out there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, this one's Elias versus John Cena. The, this was... Actually, the Elias had a decent amount of yeah. offense. Yep. Um, but as to be expected, John Cena wins after an 8A. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, moving on. That's it. Um, got yeah. a Samoa Joe video package kind of talking about how he wants to destroy the rest of the Shield and mm-hmm. Roman Reigns. Yeah. All right. Then we go backstage, and Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle are just kind of standing there, right? Uh, yeah. And then uh, Seth Rollins walks up, says he wants Samoa Joe. Jason Jordan chimes in and says he also wants Samoa Joe. <laughs> Kurt Angle tells him these two have to get along in their match with the bar first. Uh-huh. Um, he says that he's gonna he's making it for the tag titles. And um, was that uh was Seth was saying that he's he would be no Dean or they didn't want to tag together first yeah. off and yeah. then didn't Seth. Make that was, some, that or, was later. Or that on. was later on. That yeah. was their second encounter. Yeah. Uh, these things merged together. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, okay. And then that's when Roman came up, and then he said, you know what? You got Joe tonight, and it's going to be a title match. Yeah. And that was that. Maybe that's not later on. I could have swore that there was another one, but I don't see it here. Yeah. I don't... Whatever. Well, yeah, anyway, uh, basically... Uh, Jason Jordan said that he would be a better partner than Dean Ambrose... And uh, Seth, you know, said you couldn't lace Dean Ambrose's boots, basically. Did Or did it happen later on? Yeah, uh, it was a backstage segment. where It wasn't an interview or anything. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yep. Oh, uh, really? I didn't even realize Charlie interviewed uh, Kendrick. Yeah, it was in the ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed um, the beginning of this match. Yeah, so what happened was uh, Brian Kendrick and um, Jack Allahart come out to the ring uh kendrick gets uh interviewed asking what his thoughts about a tommy mm-hmm. or whatever he says that he's not impressed that he's seen much better blah 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 and yep. he's no match for him um and then uh then they have a match between yeah. hideo tommy and brian kendrick yeah so this was kind of funny that of course hideo tommy was the one who started the go to sleep yes and they were in chicago so the cm punk chants were 
again, very uh, heavy during this match. Yeah. Especially well. when he hit Kendrick with the go to sleep yes. for the finish. Uh, yeah, he messed up his eye, right? Yep. Looks like it, at least. Yep. So, he said that he had to go to the hospital after yep. the show. That's crazy. Possibly fractured orbital bone and nose. Yeah, it's really, it's really so, bad. Yeah. But yeah, I think we said a Tommy one. Yeah, from yeah, the yeah go he to had sleep. to go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Um, up next, we have another video package about the Women's Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, backstage Ben and the and Mickey. They run into the Mistourage, and uh, the Mistourage wants to share Ms. Miss Joy with them, yeah. which is pretty funny. They started singing. <laughs> singing right, yeah. Um, and then the women just walk past looking unimpressed. Mm-hmm. Um, and that leads us to uh, the match between Absolution and the three of them. Yeah. And this is, what, the third week in a row they tried to do it or something yes, like that? Yes, they actually had the match this yep. time. Um, um, so I think Bailey hit Paige with a belly, belly to belly. belly. Paige got dragged out of the ring. Mm-hmm. Every fight On started outside. outside. Paige and Bailey ended up in the ring. Paige hits Bailey with the rampage for yes. the way. But and it's funny, was too. But it, was because, a good, it was a decent match. Oh, yeah, it wasn't bad. But the funny part was the fact that Sasha and Mickey had the upper hand on the outside, mm-hmm. and they literally just stood outside of the ring watching Paige pin Bailey while it was happening. It was pretty funny. Because, like, normally they'll have them off camera, but you could see Sasha looking mm-hmm. at them during the during the pinfall, so it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, then uh, backstage, Renee interviews Joe about his match with... Uh, Roman. Well, Roman later on then asks if he feels bad about what he did to Dean, <laughs> and he said no. And uh, he said he sent Dean home for the holidays to spend it with all of his loved ones. As he's talking to <laughs> Renee. Oh, my God. Uh, so good. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and then he says after that that uh, Roman, after he puts him to sleep, isn't going to wake up in a in a dream. He's going to wake up in a nightmare. Yep. Um, so up next we had Kane versus Heath Slater. You guys can figure out what happened here. <laughs> Kane squashed him, as usual. Yeah. Rhino tried to uh, come in and avenge Slater after he got beat, and then I think he ended up getting choke slammed himself. Yes, yeah. which is to be expected. Right, yep. Yeah, Rhino is apparently trying to toughen up Heath Slater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun. I love that he's got kids' chance, though. Those are funny. <laughs> yeah, it is good. All right, yep. so up next, we have... Kurt Hawkins coming out to, uh, uh, he basically said that 2017 wasn't his best year, which isn't a surprise. Yep. Um, and that uh, he plans on uh, ending the year to lose his, uh, or to, to, I guess, get rid of his <laughs> losing streak. <laughs> yeah. he, he was, at that point in time, 146 mm-hmm. and O, oh, I guess. And uh, he's like, I challenge anybody mm-hmm. and I will beat them. And then, obviously, he did not beat them. So, uh, Finn Balor comes out. Yep, red Finn Balor. Yeah, I guess it was because it was Christmas. <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, Finn beats him. Yeah. No, there's no surprise there. I don't think that's the first time they've wrestled, either. Mm-mm. No, I don't think so, either. Um, then, backstage, the Miz Taraj walks up to Goldust, trying to spread more Miz cheer. Yeah. And they hand him a DVD of The Miz's Christmas. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, I don't remember either. Yeah. Um, but it had Paige in it, too. Yeah. So then they walk away, and then you see Goldust kind of take the gift and re-gift it to Titus. And then he just, like, yells at him in the fair, whatever he does. He does and, the hum. Yeah, thing. oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, he kind of just ran away. Yeah. They're like, what they, the hell just all, happened? Well, they looked visibly scared <laughs> from that, so it was strange. Yeah. Um. All right, so uh, after that, mm-hmm. we got Bray Wyatt uh, backstage talking about Matt Hardy and his Woken Warriors and how uh, they they live in the darkness or something like that. Yeah. And apparently, he, I don't know, he he has control over Matt's things or some, I don't know. Half the time, he's in, incoherent. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. But then he says he's here. He comes out, lights... Uh, go on, and then he gets attacked from behind by Matt Hardy. Yes. And in his uh, whole getup. Well, the, yeah, the but he, he's getup. been wearing that in the backstage. Yeah, so yeah, right, right. But we haven't seen a full Trotty picture of him. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Bray runs away. Yeah, and then Matt laughed in the ring for way too long. Yeah, he, again. <laughs> I don't know what that's <laughs> Like, it about. got to the point where the crowd was even like, all right, what are we supposed to do with yeah, this? Yeah, it was a while. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. 
Uh, up, up next, <laughs> we have a uh, backstage segment. Mm-hmm. Um, Seamus and Cesaro are exchanging gifts yep. to one another. Yeah. Um, and Cesaro gets a, a Dean Ambrose figure mm-hmm. with, that's missing an arm, yep. appropriately. Um, and then Cesaro gets a uh, Seamus figure. Not, yep. No. No, no. Seamus gets, gets a and, Seth figure. Yeah, right. And he says he's gonna take off the knee, right? Yeah. Or something like that. And then And then uh, they say or he's got he says, I got one more for you and then he pulls out the Jason Jordan figure. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty funny. Yeah. And, and then it's like, I'll break that one later. Yeah. And then we have the miracle of thirty or on thirty fourth street fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh so this was a cruiserweight tag team match. This is Enzo, Gulak, and Davari versus Ali, um, Tozawa and Cedric. Yes. And the heels were dressed up. Yes, as... which was strange. I think Davari was an elf. Mm-hmm. Enzo was Santa. And I don't know what Gulak was because he lost his shirt like halfway through the match. <laughs> I thought Cedric had some. They had some sort of holiday get up on. No, they weren't they, regular. They, oh, I could have yeah. sworn they did. Yeah. But anyway, a couple good spots in the match, but nothing really special here. Well, yeah, it's a gimmick match. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Um, there was a lot of people getting thrown into trees. Mm-hmm. That happened. Yep. Um, Gulak threw a tree into the ring. Yeah. He even mentioned it on Twitter. That's why it was just funny. Um, but yeah, the ending was uh, Alexander hitting a lumbar mm-hmm. check on Davari, which is pretty par for the course. Standard, yep. And uh, so yeah, that was it. The uh, faces win. Mm-hmm. So then we go backstage <laughs> and uh, Enzo's walking well, backstage, uh-huh. and he gets up to a spot, and then I think Nia Jax comes in, and they both look up, and they're standing underneath mistletoe. Yes, which was really funny. Yep. So, it was so awkward. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. So the segment goes on for a little bit, and then Alexa Bliss comes running in and kind of gets between them and says, Nia, I need to talk to you about, what, the Women's Rumble or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and so they basically said, all right, we'll catch up next time. Mm-hmm. And then Enzo is kind of... Aww. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, a little bit. So uh, up next, we got Renee Young interviewing uh, Roman, mm-hmm. and uh, basically he just says that he's gonna send a message to Joe, and apparently that message is, "Get out of my yard." <laughs> right something like that i think that's what he said um and then uh we got that match roman versus joe yep uh yes yeah, su- surprisingly well i think there was a point in the match where joe was trying to injure roman because he dove through the ropes and hit him and roman hit his arm into the guardrail mm-hmm. so he was selling that for a while yeah and then kind of reigns was beating joe down in the corner and then he the ref tried to pull him, and then would Reigns elbow him or something like that, or pushed him. Oh, yeah, well, he just pushed him out he of the way. He just pushed him out of the way? Yeah. yeah. And, and so then the that's re- when uh, the ref DQ'd, yep. the, DQ'd him. Yeah. So Samoa Joe won the match, but yes. he didn't get the title. Nope. And then after the match, Reigns beat up Joe. Then would he try to break, no, not break his arm, but, you know, damage his arm? Uh, I believe so. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, was, he looked like he had a good mean streak there. It was, it was nice to see Roman book that way. Well, yeah, because... There was, a, a, I guess, a, an intensity. Yeah, right. Yeah, because that's what we had talked about when the S.H.I.E.L.D. got back together. Mm-hmm. Um, there was an intensity in the three of them that they hadn't seen in a while. Yeah. Um, and then they uh, they show the backstage Seth and J.J., or mm-hmm. Jason, Jason Jordan, Jordan. Yeah. Um, t- uh, watching Roman, I guess, after he g- beat up Joe. Um, <clears throat> and then Seth tells him that if they're going to win tonight, he needs to bring right. it. Yeah. And that he needs to be better than Dean Ambrose. Yeah, right, right, and that's when we, what we talked about earlier yeah. happened. Yes, or actually, no, he said he needs to be as good as Dean. Right, and and then Jason sort of said, "Don't worry, I'll be better." Yeah, and that's when you know Dean said he couldn't lace his boots or whatever, basically. Uh. Um, so then we have up next the Miztourage Secret Santa match. Yeah. So obviously they didn't know who their opponent was, oh, and I know who it was. surprisingly enough, it was Braun Strowman. Yeah. Um, he kind of destroyed them. Oh, not power slam of. for the win. Yeah. Um, and then as soon as one of them got up, he'd pick them up and power slam. And then if the other one got up, same thing. Yep. Um, so yeah, that, that was that. And then it's uh, always nice to see Braun Strowman beat those two up. Yeah. And that's all he needs to do. I know. Actually, they did, they played a good part in this show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. So up next mm-hmm. we have Alexa Bliss coming out. 
Um, she basically just takes credit for the Women's Royal Rumble taking place, even though she's not going to be in it. Right. Um, and then uh, and then Asuka comes out, mm-hmm. and then she says that she's going to enter the match, and yep. she's going to win. Yep. And, and Alexa then, just had the scared look, like, I was just terrified look in her face. Yeah. And then Asuka kicked her, and she went down, and that was that. Yep, yep, yep. And that brought us to the main event with the tag titles being defended by the bar against Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. Yes. Um, decent match here. Yeah. Um, having Jason Jordan in the match certainly, like, makes it more fresh than yeah, having Dean in it. Mm-hmm. And obviously you're going to get a little better wrestling out of Jordan than yeah. you are Dean. Mm-hmm. So um, you got added his, I guess... No gimmick moves in the ring. <laughs> yeah, that and the <laughs> fact that you have a lot more actual wrestling yeah. going on instead of brawling, which is Dean's thing. Right. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the match yeah. wasn't bad. It no. wasn't too screwy. No, it was just a very abrupt ending. Yeah, it's true. Because they battled outside the ring. Um, and then, what, Sheamus go back in the ring, or was it Cesaro who eat the pin? Uh, oh, Cesaro, Cesaro yeah. 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 So he went in the ring, Jason Jordan hit him with a quick neck breaker, and well, that was, was that. Well, it wasn't a quick neck breaker. Oh, he it picked was him up his and then, finishing Is that growth. really his finisher? It because so... it was his part of the Grand oh, Apple. Oh, right, Apple that's team. right. It's and just... we, we talked about yes. this. He just hasn't won a match in a while, yeah. so hasn't hasn't come up yet. Or Fair enough. Recently. Fair enough. But that, that has been his finisher mm-hmm. since he became a singles wrestler. Yeah. So it's not really a surprise. I gotcha. So... But yeah, so Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins are new tag team champions. On Raw. On Raw. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, you called it. Yep. I didn't think it was going to happen, but Mm -hmm. at the same time, I guess it kind of makes sense. Yep. Um, But uh, we will get more into this in our Raw, well, thoughts and discussion video. Yes. All right. So. So if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.